Ball screen action. Nayamari probing, taking his time. Caleb Hoyleen was stripped. Now Henry Fambula and Hunter Nielsen. These two have had some battles the last four years. Henry on the follow to put the Eagles back in front. How about that? Second chance opportunity. You don't see many people try and take it at Nielsen, but like you said, Fambula is a seasoned veteran. You gotta imagine he needs to have a big night if they wanna have success. Nielsen picked up his dribble, leaning in, throws up a prayer, it doesn't go. Do the Eagles try to push? They don't, slowing things up. They wanna play a slower pace than Bethany does tonight, especially with how lethal the Vikings can be themselves in transition. Going for the steal is Madsen. Lavelle kept it, now he lost it. Hustling back is Hoyline. Madsen in the open floor, can't finish. The follow doesn't go either from Bangu. Wow. Eagles pushing this way. Plasternich thought about it. Instead, Nayamori, bullseye! Uh, this student body is electric right now. 11-6 and getting all the good looks right now. Reaching in the ball. cookie jar, Fambula knocked it away. Two on three developing. Nayamori by everyone, and Ackley said no! We're going the other way. Coast to coast action, Bangu lays it in. Are you having fun yet, Ryan? Woo, this is fun, I'll take this. Unbelievable. Can we just get 40 minutes of this? No whistles yet, almost four minutes gone into the opening half. Already seeing the man himself, Bruce Segedal, getting ready to check in for the Vikings. Eagles taking a breath on this end. Posternich says, why not? I'll let it go, they go under and he makes them pay. They can't miss right now, Ryan. They are just on fire, two of two from deep. Already 14 against this electric Vikings offense. They're gonna have to continue to score like this all night. Hand down, not man down. Ackley couldn't hit, long rebound out to Hunter Nielsen. Second chance for the Vikings. Madsen makes them pay. Yeah, you gotta have a hand up on him. He's already in a groove, Ryan. That's a bad sign if you're a Northwestern fan. Plenty of offense early. Eagles are ready to go from the jump, just like they were last year against the Vikings. They came in undefeated at 4-0. The Eagles upset them. Hoyleen, why not continuing to light it up from downtown? They can't miss. Three of three from deep now. You almost wondered, you just throw the ball out of bounds here for Bethany and say, let's just get a whistle. <laughs> we'll take the turnover. We just got to have a whistle here. Oh, my. Madsen from the logo off the mark as we get our first whistle of the evening. Burns wanting to look on the block, doesn't get it. Schneider driving the senior with the hoop and the harm. Could not agree more, Jess. Nayamori, Skywalker, hanging in the air for the deuce. Talk about hang time there. <laughs> Shane Leckler would be proud. <laughs> Missing the bunny, Fambula clearing. Eagles trying to play keep away. Hoy lead to Schneider to Hoy lead. There you have it. Some ball movement that would make Greg Popovich blush. <laughs> Parker Bainey handing off to his fellow sophomore Ooh. guard. Not a Murray from downtown. Nothing but nylon, a quick five overs for Northwestern he, out of the locker room. Eagles handing off across the perimeter. Hoyleen had a nice first half. Bully ball puts his shoulder in. Kept the pivot foot, says, don't mind if I do. In the double figures with 10. It's a 7-0 run for Northwestern out of the gates in this second half. He has to pick up his dribble and find a guard. Nayamari, yep. wide open. Give him another one. Get that man going in this second half. He's got two early triples and is up to eight. The lead down to 10. Schneider wide open, the senior says why not? Just a bit too strong, Burns on the glass, can't finish. Kohler in there, somehow squeeze the orange, and it pays off. Right back to Lavelle, deep range, he's got some range, the Eagles drill another one. Hedging on these ball screens, playing some zone, trapping where they can. Hoy lead, stepping through, don't mind if I do. Good ball movement. Lavelle canning another one. The Eagles lighting it up from downtown. Time out, Spurgeon. Coach Groves wants at least an explanation, if not a whistle. Fambula stepping through in the open floor. Bust the foul. The hoop and the harm for the senior who was trying to put the night on a poster. Something to watch for sure. Fambula fading away, okay. Fambula 
giving up. Lavelle won't hesitate. You betcha! The third triple tonight for Jeremiah Lavelle. Eagles extend it back to seven. Where do the Eagles go here? Elijah Burns spinning, ducking, kissing it home! Nelson, the freshman, drove into a tree and he gives it away. Hoyleen in the open floor. How about that finish? The hoop and the harm once more for 11 and white. Hershey in transition, thought about it. Instead, she'll go baseline, kicking Terry. Corner, pocket, catch. Falk coming down with the rebound, telling her teammates, why aren't you running with me? <laughs> Finding Groves, good ball movement. Hershey drills it. Back-to-back -back corner pocket splashes for the Eagles. Hershey's up to five as well, and just like that, the lead up to nine. Hagen taking her time, picking pop. Sandro won't let it go this time. What <laughs> great footwork from the junior. And the Eagles do cut it to three. Sandro's up to four. Shuck pushing the pace in transition. Kicking. Groves didn't want to let it go. Terry weaving through the defense for the finish. Allison Terry didn't look for Sandro. She'll take it herself. Oh. Put the foul. Terry to the line to try to complete the old fashioned. Sandro kicking. Groves getting a paint touch right back where it came from. Sandro corner. Puck it. Splash the Eagles third triple in this opening quarter. They're letting it fly left and right. Too strong. Long rebound out to Hershey. Ahead to Sandro, wanted it, got it, and finished in the end zone. Eagles trying to run once more, Falk leading the break. The freshman kicking, Hershey from the logo, you bet! Time out, Polars. Falk lobbing into Hershey, plus the foul! She'll go to the line to try to complete the old fashioned. Falk absolutely hounded. Somehow oh. found Sandro on a great cut. The Eagles get the potential two for one as well. Eagles got to go. They take it under 10 before moving. Hershey will pull. Got it! Trying to move the chains and keep this drive alive. Eli Warner in motion. Brown and Burke to the wide side. Kentrell. Fine time, rolling right, sets his feet, taking a shot. Jalen Brown comes down with it. All the way down to the 16. Pass is complete. Eagles into the red zone for the second time this evening, wanting to get points on this drive. Clefsis bursting through the middle, walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Touchdown. Wanting to keep the defense off balance but wanting to find a way to punch it in the end zone. Kentrell back to throw. Sidearm sling to Lofton, breaking out a one, diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Clefs is still the tailback next to Kentrell, the junior, looking that way. Burke blowing by, and Kentrell dropped it in the bucket. Touchdown, Eagles. Homecoming Saturday here at Northwestern, second down and seven. Kentrell drops back, clean pocket, once more, taking a shot over the top, touchdown, Jalen Brown. The Eagles find pay dirt for the fourth time in this opening quarter. Third down and long, what kind of pressure do the Eagles bring? Just three. Swinning out to the near side, Ellington says, give me that. It's a house call for the sophomore. A pick six for Northwestern. Back to receive Luke Malamasuro standing at midfield. Snap back, kick booted away by Hoxtra. Malamasuro catches on his own 45, trying to make something happen. Breaks out of one tackle, working down the sideline. He's got a convoy. Malamasuro has done it again. An electrifying punt returner shows off once more all the way to pay dirt. Touchdown, Eagles. It in play. Parson has it tipped at the wall. Schroyer somehow with a stick save with the left hand. She'll push to the back and pull the Eagles within one. Oh, my goodness. Eagles get it right back, though. Strick Faden nice putting sir. it up the line on the service. 
Miller in the middle one more time, but the Eagles somehow found a way to play it over. They'll try Miller again, and it's another rejection from the Eagles. Eagles back on serve as Ani sends it up the gut. There it is again. Ooh, cookies. Give her a glass of milk and dunk that thing. Don't Schroyer give points. putting in play. That's key. Sneak nice. attack answered by Schroyer. Head on a swivel. Schmidt reaching back, answered by Rodriguez. Van Scoy, oh. answered by Schroyer. Strick Faden setting up Glanzer from way downtown. Straight back over, Ani lays the hammer. That'll get him going. To start this afternoon, Rich putting in play on the service. They'll spray it wide. Wilbur has it lined up. Genegas waiting for gravity to do its thing before setting up Olsen. Barry sticking with it. A stick save from Rich. Tiptoeing around her, Genegas got to it. And Glanzer says, I'll put that nail into the two by four once more. Hurt sending this one cross court. Glanzer receives it, says, give it right back to me. Vikings with an answer. Spraying wide to Underwood. Wilbur able to put it up. Rich setting up Glanzer with the offhand. It'll pinball over from Barry, a good effort. Plenty of options here for the Eagles. Force feeding Glanzer, she's answered straight back one more time, and the senior puts it down. Her fellow senior back to serve. The NYA product puts in play. In the middle, strict fade in answering Puffer. Schmidt answered here, plenty of options for the Rams. They're gonna go to Manson, and Marley Ani is looking like the Kembe Matumbo tonight. They got time, court. Laying it back, Corbett bending this one through it, Mersberger converts. Seven goals now in the last two and a half contest for Haley Mersberger. Who else to break the scoreless tie? Maya Chan dropping to Megan Cord, who's been heavily involved early. Junior out of Monona, Wisconsin, dancing. Got it to that left foot, a missile will find the back of the net. Megan Court doubles the lead for Northwestern. Mosman stepping through to send it forward. Mersberger gets a foot to it, trying to get the edge, fighting with Casper. Mersberger does it one more time. Different year, same result. Haley Mersberger puts the Eagles in front in the semifinal. Mersberger chasing ahead off a great ball forward from Moeller. Could she do it again? She can! Haley Mersberger doubling the lead for Northwestern. Haley Mersberger giving chase. Works it around Willanen. Mersberger throw your hats! Another hat trick for the sophomore. And there is your cherry on top for Northwestern. Ash looking back at Hickson. Severson right back up the gut. They're gonna send Hickson home. Here comes the throw from Fess. It is wide. The Eagles tie things up, throw into second, bounces away. We are deadlocked at three. Has his sign from Bly, the Randolph product. Rocks and fires, side arm slide for strike three. Drinkin says, give me that, marching into the dugout. Full count offering, senior on senior. Drinkin has his sign. The three two, read him up at the belt. Punch out number eight for Nick Drakin. We are headed to extra innings. Free baseball coming from Reynolds Field. Sap four on freshman, just like how you all drew it up in the 11th inning. Ash goes down sweeting. How about number five in purple, Dreyer Holman sends us to the 12th. Looking for another hit here. First pitch winning, the Eagles in front for the first time this tournament. 
we have a treat for you today. Eagles, Cougars on the pitch, part two. Coach Pettit's club to take the field. Women's soccer on the way in moments on the Eagles Sports Network. Ryan Mitchell alongside Wyatt Morrell. Wyatt, we are in for a treat today. Thank you so much for stepping into the booth. Well, of course. Glad Thanks to have for having you. me. I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad you're just <laughs> allowing me to be here, Ryan, to take this opportunity. And like you said, we expect a highly competitive matchup today between these two teams. Let's go to that play, your touchdown. So Caden buys some time. He's rolling left. You're down the sideline. What are you thinking as you're coming down the field on that play and then obviously you close on it after you come? Yeah, I can see all the space. I'm just hoping that he will be able to, when he's rolling out, I'm just hoping like he can set up and throw. And he was able to set up square his body and deliver a great ball. That was, that was an amazing play by him. Do you surprise yourself on those? I mean, when that finds the back of the net, are you surprised or do you say, hey, I do this in my training. Like, I, I expect to score. I mean, sometimes I just let it rip and see what <laughs> happens. But, you know, I, I'm not surprised, but like, I, I'm always very happy when it does go in. Finally, you get a full week off before another match. Labor Day weekend, yes. three wins to start the season. How do you, Maryland, celebrate? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'll, I think we're going to go to the fair, so I'm, okay. I'm excited about All that. Right. Um, it's supposed to be really hot, but we'll try to stay out of the sun and just kind of enjoy it for a little bit. And then I go get some food, some dinner, some nice dinner maybe. Awesome. They got a lot of food there. Enjoy yes. some sweet Martha's. Oh, Enjoy the wins. Thanks so much for joining yes. us. You're so welcome. Thank you. You're all over the place, as you always are. <laughs> but your first goal, okay, first half, game's tied one to one. You guys are largely outplaying them, but you respond really well after Martin Luther knots things up. What do you remember about your header in the first half? Well, I saw Joey across the field, and I knew he could slot the ball to me. So I yelled on top of my lungs for him to play the ball. And uh, he hit a perfect ball to me, and I luckily uh, keep Rosen in great position, so I hit it in. As a team, what made the difference for you guys tonight? Tight game, anyone's ball game with a few minutes to go. What do you feel like made the difference for you guys? We just wanted it at the end. That's all it comes down to in close games. Whoever wants it more is going to take it. And we compromised when we needed to, and we locked in. So. Haley, you scored last year in your first playoff game here at Reynolds Field. You scored three more tonight. You have another hat trick. What is it about these big games and the big moments that gets the best out of you? Oh, it's just so much fun. There's no other way to put it. I don't know what it's, what's with the pressure and if I just perform better under pressure or what, but <laughs> it's just so much fun uh, playing in a playoff game. Um, just the fact that like it counts for something. Like If we win, we move on. If we lose, we're done. Um, and then just like the joy that my teammates experience together after any of us score is just so incredible. So 